It's the holiday season. Growing up in the 90s, there was nothing better than getting a brand new toy, especially a Power Ranger toy for Christmas. But what if Santa brought you an unofficial Power Ranger toy or a bootleg, if you will? Well, in the spirit of giving, I'm giving you all a gift, whether you want it or not, of bootleg Power Ranger action figures. And on this list, believe it or not, there actually is a Lord Draken figure that came out 25 years before the launch of the character in the comics. So let's get it started here on Generation S with some terrible or terribly good Power Ranger bootleg figures. Starting off with this Trini action figure, and oh my god, look at those eyes! Looks like she's done some things or seen some things that would uh, shock most of us a lot worse than she is right there, but damn, that is a ugly looking figure, but it looks like it's the flip heads that they used to make back in the day. Those were my favorite Power Ranger toys. Uh, but we don't see the Flip Ranger helmet itself, the Ranger helmet, but maybe there's something kind of close to it later on. But it's not a terrible figure, it's not a great figure, but just that face of Trini is things of nightmares. Damn, look at this Dino Thunder 3-pack. It almost looks legit, almost looks legit, except for the Yellow Ranger. She's, uh, she's been hitting the gym a little bit, just like the boys. This is a bootleg that I wouldn't mind getting back in the day as a kid. I wouldn't be entirely disappointed, but you could tell just by the build of the Yellow Ranger that this is a knockoff. Super Mighty Force Green Ranger here looks like he's merged with the Black Ranger. Take a look at the hands. It's partially the Green Ranger, partially the Black Ranger. If you think that looks hideous, what the hell is that on the left side of it? Is that a Ninja Turtle? That, I said Trini was the thing of nightmares, but that, that's worse. That is terrible. I couldn't even use that as a figure, as an enemy. For the Power Rangers. That is god awful. Super Morphin Power Raiders. At quick glance, it looks legitimate. There's a real photo of the Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin crew, and the Rangers logo has been altered just a little bit, but if you're looking really quick, you're not going to really know the difference. Fun fact, I had these as a kid. They were hollow plastic. Their arms did move up and down, but that was really it. But they kind of looked like Rangers but not really. They were definitely bootlegs, but quickly, they do. The box does look like Rangers. I could see parents getting kind of confused about this. If they had no idea what they were looking for, this could slide under your Christmas tree. Ah, yes. This is the garbage I saw in the malls growing up. Super robotic Rangers was the stuff found in the dollar stores or any, like, little bodega deli back in the day. Companies took existing sci-fi tours or things they had made, just changed the packaging, throw on like three dots or triangles or diamonds or whatever as long as it's three of them and they're white in hopes that mom and dad or grandma and grandpa wouldn't know what they were grabbing and would give you this steaming pile of you know what under your tree terrible terrible stuff superman army exoloy shine rolls right off the tongue doesn't it guys but i'll tell you what this pink ranger actually looks pretty damn good in fact technically this appearance is closer to what the actual show is than the original Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger figure, which had like the big yellow pterodactyl logo on the chest. They all did, but that wasn't in the show. So this is this is pretty good. I wouldn't have mind getting this as a kid. Even looking at it now, it's not a bad figure at all. It even has a little power morpher buckle on it but I actually like that it does not have that big logo on the chest, unlike the first Pink Ranger figure we got. Super Ninja Force is a bargain bin version of Ninja Steel, and this is what you would expect to find at your local dollar store. Props for having a good amount of weapons in the package if you actually got this lump of coal. That's all I can really say. It's, it's garbage, but again, if you're paying five bucks for it, that's what you're going to get. Hey, it's Ed from 90 Day Fiance in Power Ranger form. I could say that because my wife watches it. This guy's got no neck, and neither does this ranger. This Super Falco Power Purdue, again, uh, I assume is related to the first entry on this list, which was Trini, who's seen, seen some things, guys. I, I guess it's the same category. So this is indeed what the ranger helmet looks like. It's the flip head again. It's not a terrible figure. It, it, again, I say that. If you're paying like five bucks for it or you got it by accident you could make this work as a kid it has the power axe and a blaster but the guy has no neck so all i see when i look at this is that dude from 90 day fiance if you don't know his name you know what he looks like 
I, yeah, yeah, there you go. The TLC, if you're listening, there you go. That's him in Power Ranger form. And finally, Power Fighters gives us Lord Draken. I told you, it looks like him, kind of. This is like 25 years ago, so let's look at this closer. It's a white ranger flip head figure with a green ranger shield and a green colored saber tooth tiger logo and Saba and a power blaster. This is awesome. If I got this as a kid, a little piece of me would go, this isn't real. But the other part of me would be super excited of, I have my own ranger. It looks like a merging of the white ranger and the green ranger. And it, I used my imagination when I was a kid with the Power Ranger toys. I didn't just use the Rangers as they were. I would make them swap powers, slap, swap swords, things like that. So if I got this, this would be really cool. And it also is pretty interesting that a company made something like this 25 years ago. And the characters come out within the last decade or so. So I find that kind of interesting. So there you go. There's some terrible looking, some average looking, and one pretty cool looking Power Ranger bootleg toy. So, did you have any of these growing up? I did. I told you which ones I had, the hollow plastic ones. But let me know uh, if you had any of these or just what your favorite Power Ranger figure in general was from back in the day. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you listening. Hope you have a happy and healthy holiday season. And we'll continue with our Power Ranger content with some more uh, fan questions coming up soon here on Generation S.